Describe who you are in two words. Very Igbo and proud. How excited are you about life right now? Very excited. Um, do you remember the first fashion item you ever bought? It was a red rosary. Do you think your name reflects your personality? Yes. What is one misconception about you? People think I'm arrogant. But are you arrogant? It depends on the day of the week. <laughs> if you could get yourself out of trouble by rapping a Fino song, what song would it be? Mem Pasanobem, Jesse, Ega for the Habu Arabam. Okay, I was about to tell you to drop some bars, but I think that's good. <laughs> what is it like being a dad? Interesting, and for once, attention moves from you to someone else. <laughs> Are you a diaper changing dad? Yes, I'm very, very hands on. What is one thing you want for your kids that you never had? I don't know. I kind of think my parents gave me everything. So I think I'm going to give my kids everything that my parents gave me plus more. So would you say you're working in your dream job? Yes, I'm working for myself. Socks with shoes or not? Depends on the time of the day. At night watching TV, socks without shoes. During okay. the day, socks with shoes. On some days, shoes without socks. Great. What influences your everyday look? The weather. I have to be comfortable. And it depends on the meeting that I have. If I don't have any meetings, I wear tracks and slides. If I have meetings, I probably wear shoes. If I have an interview, I wear a hat. So how long did it take you to pick out, uh, pick out this outfit? Two minutes or less. What is your best catchphrase? Just do it. And it was told to me by my father. Like, if you think about it, just go ahead and do it. Okay. What is the best career advice you've ever gotten? Don't be poor. Work hard to be rich. Name three qualities that you love most about your wife. She's very caring, she's very self-assured, and she's very hardworking. Hmm. And at what moment did you realize you were in love with your wife? The day after I added on BPM when she asked me, who is this, even though she knew who I was. <laughs> when was that moment you felt like you made it? When I met my first one million era, like, you know, I was working in paid employment, and at some point I was doing consulting in music, and I was paid a million era for work done in music. So I was like, you know what? This is the life I have prayed for. Hmm. What change would you like to see in the Nigerian entertainment industry? People should be a lot more open with their true source of income so that the younger people can know how much people are making from music or entertainment and how much they are not making from music and entertainment. So people don't see like, you know, a smoke and believe that life is all about the fancy things in life. Okay. So 316 of Style Bouquet, Charles by Nob. What's your next business venture? I kind of think I want to play in digital media. Let me explain to you what I mean. I've done a couple of things in fashion, music, then, um, then right now I want to do something that has to do with videos. So I want to do some sort of um, documentary. I want to go into documentary in the 2019. Great. Give a relationship advice to your younger self. Believe in yourself and it's not always about you. <laughs> so who's your biggest inspiration? My dad, Sahecho M. Igwe. Uh, I know you were born and raised in Abia State. Describe Aba in three words to someone who has never been. Aba, you have to be street smart, you have to believe in yourself, and when you make the money, make sure you go back to the love the city that brought you up. And where do you normally go to relax in Abia State? Oh, uh, I, I, I grew up in a, a, Abia State, but I'm from Anambra State, so my best places, or the best place that I relax is a place called Omomaku in Yorimba, so local government of Anambra State. If you were to organize a party, what thing would it be? Uh, right now, the only thing <laughs> I really want to do is come very, looking very evil. So, Isiago and you know the white shoes and the safari suit and whatnot that evil people are known for. Hmm, I hope you get invited to that, Atindani. It depends on how cool we are. <laughs> how would you describe what style is to a newbie? Style should be comfortable, style should be low, high. I wouldn't want people walking the street looking very, uh, you can't be a monogram of logos, so you can't be very designer ish, you also can't be very poor ish. I don't know, like, you know, you have to find a balance between like high street fashion and low street fashion. How does fashion influence you? Uh, fashion sort of detects everything that I do, so how I look, what I do, uh, what I drink, and it has to be stylish. If you had a tattoo, what would you say? Danda, that's what I call my dad. Okay. Do you cook? Noodles, um, I fry plantain, um, I fry chicken, I fry eggs. I can cook, yes. So, do you cook native food? 
No. <laughs> okay. What's your go-to restaurant in Lagos? Kohino. Your most expensive fashion item is? I don't know, like I'm not really about to be honest. I can't I can't really say. I have a lot of things which I consider expensive. But I, I can't put my hands on one single thing. I don't know, like nah, I can't. Okay. One thing about you, people will be surprised to know. I can't have my cool I can't have my bath with cold water. I don't drink hot tea and uh, I I like AC a lot. <laughs> most expensive gift you have received this year? This is what? This is um this is April. My wife gave me airports in February, yeah. If you could change one thing about yourself, what would it be? I don't want to change anything. I'm not really great. I mean deal with that. So can you share one funny secondary school experience? <sighs> secondary school experience. Uh, I, I didn't I didn't I never really liked mathematics, right? So I was one of those people who used to like, you know leave the class before a math teacher comes in. So there was this day, so what we normally do, like senior students, we leave the class, then we go to the hostel to hide. So we didn't know two teachers came. So one stood by the window, and one, stood, uh, one came from the hostel door. So once he knocked and called us some names, we tried to jump through the window, only to be caught by the teacher by the window. So it was funny, but it was also interesting. Then also there was this time we were in school for preparatory before we were the SSCE, and uh, so during one of the holidays, we, we saw a chicken in the, in the school. We cooked it and we ate it. So the principal called everybody and plugged them according.